So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of what I do on like on a daily routine basis to clean out and prep my vehicle. Um, so this isn't like a heavy intense, gonna take everything out, clean it all out, reorganize. It's just, this is what I do on a, on a, on a daily basis uh, when needed. Uh, so it's just gonna be like, you know, refilling some products. I'm gonna show you like how I take things out, how I just make sure everything's tidied up in the vehicle. And then if you haven't seen the other videos, you can see what's in my vehicle. I don't show you every single last product, but uh, you get a sense of just my, my current setup uh, as of now in this 2009 HHR panel. Uh, so pretty straightforward. I mean, I have a relatively small van anyway. Well, I have a small van, so it's not like much fits in it anyways. So like when I clean it out, um, there's really not much that I'm moving. I'm just kind of re or not even reorganizing. It's just like adjusting, adjusting everything back to back to its place. But I will remove everything just to make sure that like there's no other towels or anything, and um, and see if there's anything that I need to clean off. And I only bring the polish bag when I need to do some polishing. If, I, if there's nothing that needs to be polished on that customer's vehicle, um, I, I usually won't take it just because again, I'm limited on space. So whenever I don't have to bring something, that's better for me to not have to, um, you know, to fight to get more space in here. Uh, this is the bag I always used for the, for, the, for the interior towels or engine towels. I don't put the polishing towels in here. Those are kept separate, like when I use them. And let's say I do do an engine cleaning. Uh, engine towels are different from interior towels. So I'll put the bag in, I'll put the in interior towels or like the really, really, really bad, like I use a towel for the wheels, for the brake dust, for the engine bay cleaning or something really dirty. I'll put them in the front pocket and then the regular dirty interior towels will go here in this big pocket. And <laughs> I actually found this bag at a park uh, like three years ago or two years ago and I've been using it for towels so it's literally just a regular nylon bag except and it has two pockets so Jaden lost his bag and I use it so whenever um, <laughs> I just call it where's Jaden at like the bag that's that's what I call the bag because it's the name on the bag but I'll just make sure that all the towels are in the right spot make sure there's no loose um, there's no loose gloves anywhere and for the extractor I do put a towel underneath it just in case like it rattles and there's too much water in there uh, and something spills over and it falls down or maybe there's a leak somewhere uh, and it starts leaking or whatever whatever the case may be the towel's gonna be there to catch that water as opposed to just letting it fall onto the rubber and kind of spreading around so it's just there to catch the water i wash this when i wash the towels um so it, it's good to keep something like anything anytime you have water or anything I like to put like the towel underneath it just because it might spill and if it does, well the, the towel's gonna absorb it. This is the bag that holds the Aquaprovac extractor. This, this bag holds the holes to the Aquaprovac extractor. So I rarely ever take it, I, ever, I rarely ever grab it from the handle but since there's no water in it, um, it's not gonna be that heavy. But I rarely grab it from the handle. I usually pick it up from both sides. See like this one needs to be cleaned. It is pretty, it's wet. That's what she said. Um, so that's what we washed too. Now do I do I go in and like thoroughly scrub it down and clean it? Mm, no, not at all. I'll take an APC cleaner, and I don't like I don't go in there and vacuum it or anything. Like this is a work van. Uh, you know, there's only so much I can do on a daily basis. So I, I will just like I don't vacuum it. I literally just spray it down with a cleaner, specifically APC, and just wipe it down. Like I'm not going for like a super thorough clean. Like I just just a ba basic little maintenance cleaning just to make sure it doesn't get too too out of hand but i'm not going to use a brush now don't get me wrong there, there's times when i when i do give it a thorough cleaning like i i bring everything out I, I i i agitate everything i use brushes to get all the dust out but on days like this um i'm not going for nowhere near perfection it's just a quick little wipe down to make sure that I don't just, you know, I'm just paying, I'm just giving it some attention. Uh, I'm not gonna, that's it, like that's basically it. There's nothing special to it. So I don't, I don't currently have another towel to put under, underneath here uh, for the extractor. I'll just put any little towel and let it catch like, you know, something is better than nothing. So I would just put some little small towel there and uh, just in case it needs it. 
but I'm not gonna put it back right now because we're gonna address the other sides. Okay, we, we might be a little squished here, but this is the container for the pads and pot and just well, just pads and a few towels here and there. But so again, same thing with the polisher bag. I don't take that unless I'm no, I know I'm gonna be polishing a vehicle. This is the wheel and wash bucket. I need to clean out the wheels. Um, these these need to be washed. These need to be washed. This is full. This is Adam's uh, tire and wheel cleaner, deleted two to one. This needs to be refilled. This is uh, IK pump sprayer with super clean diluted ten to one. And then this one needs to be refilled. This is optimal no rinse diluted as a clay lube. And uh, yeah, I put stuff on the top of my vehicle. No, I don't freak out or anything. So this is my interior bucket. And then down here, and then down here is the exterior bucket. Um, I need to put the, cl the, the clay pad in there. But I always had this full, um, but we're good for now. I just need to put the clay pad, the clay mitt right there. Pretty simple and it's right here. I throw it to you, there it goes. So with this one, like because I still have to wash the towels and well I still have well I still have another uh clean wash I still have another uh clean wash mitt right here and I have I have two other clean wash mitts ready to go just not here just in, in the reserves. So um here I'll move this right there, put this right here. Uh, what how do you guys restore the clay mitts? Um I used to put it in a plastic bag in a plastic box, but now I literally just cover it like this. It gets a little stuck to the towel, but I've never seen any like negative cons to it and then I'll just put this back here and then stack the interior box over it and then put the score reel back I'll put the always like the especially like with aggressive cleaners always make sure that there's nothing coming out of it like that like always press it just make sure that there's no cleaner. That way, if you do accidentally press it, you're not gonna spray someone directly in the face. So these need to be um, refilled. Can you see that? These need to be refilled. And then uh, with that, I'll just, I'll just leave that there. Um, I have the um, the five gallon water container right there. I use it just, I carry it around everywhere just in case at some point I do need it. This is the Vapor Clean steamer that I'll be do doing a review on it soon and some videos and, and how to use a steamer. Awesome, awesome, awesome steamer. Um, but this one kind of sits just sits there. And as you can tell, I carry my pump sprayers in there because they're so bulky, they take up a lot of space. And it's hard to put them anywhere else because like, again, they're bulky and they, you just, they're weird. So I just throw, once everything is stacked in there, I just throw them in the middle and just let them sit there. Um, I don't really, I don't really hang on by the handle because sometimes like, Sometimes it'll, it'll loosen it from the from the bottle itself and that'll be a problem. So I just throw them in the in the middle. All right, and as far as this go, like these are just like loose towels I need to address. Put that there. Uh, this is the works battery powered pressure washer, if you want to call it that. It's pretty weak, but it's useful for needing to rinse like wheels or stuff off with just battery powered. This is the, uh, the filler for the steamer. That's a box of towels, if you can see that. Yeah, it's a box of towels. I actually keep that there because it's not taking any space. So I do have good quality towels with me at all times. And then this is pretty much a, a mess right now just because I've been throwing a lot of products in there. This needs to be refilled to another product. So I may have to wait on that one. These Mako ones I was testing out at a customer's vehicle. So I can move those out the way and bring in some other ones I need to test. This needs to be refilled. This one might as well be refilled. This is the leather protectant from Alco. It's what I use for now. What I'm going to be using. Uh, this 10 to 1. So I got asked the other day, like, do you use, do you carry a lot of spares with you? Uh, yeah, like O&R uh, as a clay lube in a, a 1 gallon container. Fi uh, 5 to 1 in a 1 gallon container from Super Clean. Just another a gallon of water. Just tap water just in case for whatever reason. And then super clean diluted 10 to 1. So I carry the most, and then I have another gallon of super clean over there in the container. So the most used stuff, come, I, I already I already bring it pre-diluted. Uh, just because that's the most used stuff and I always need to make sure that I have enough with me. This glass cleaner is good. 
that's good and yeah so we just it's always going to be primarily like these at the, the like the, the clay lube the off-purpose cleaner maybe the tire dressing um maybe the glass cleaner but that's these are just these are still good so pretty simple here then i'll just come over here and i'll open this up and then this is hyper dressing diluted uh four to one optimal no rinse diluted as a clay lube and super clean okay and super clean diluted as a as a super clean 10 to 1 so since we're doing the optimal no rinse right now i just come here do this takes about i don't know and i literally just do this for every product that has this um not all of them like a lot of them are just in the, in the regular one gallon container but since i use these so much these are the ones that are already diluted so it makes life much easier to do once they actually have to be refilled close this back up and then get your other bottle come right here and there we are we close that up and then you get a towel and wipe it down and repeat that for whatever other sizes or products you have to do. So this is hyper dressing. And just like that, we're done. Cover this. Close this. And done. Well. And yeah, that's pretty annoying. If you don't want the drops, just hold it there when you turn it off, when you close it. So all the drops come out. Or you can like actually put a spigot in there and like actually have a shutoff valve. To really stop it from leaking um but for now i don't really mind it's a few dots no big deal i'll put them back in now that doesn't mean every like it's gonna fit all snug and pretty every single time um sometimes you can kind of force it in that's what she said and it'll fit all but a lot of times a lot of the bottles that i have they'll kind of just be sitting kind of laying on top of each other like that especially if i'm taking like more tools and products and i don't have that one in stock uh, especially if I'm just taking more, like, you'll literally just end up kind of tossing it on. At a minimum, you want to keep it upright if possible like that. That way, like, it's not, like, you don't know if it's, like, leaking or anything. So at least at a minimum, have it upright if you can. And just forgot this one needs to be refilled as well. And I should have done this one first because now i got to move all these products out the way in order to fit this 10 to 1. that number right there do that and then put it back all right and now I'll just put the stuff back go I go and it's tight fit then get the hose, put it up here, this fits nicely somewhere along there, this is not, well that's a dirty towel but I don't need this bottle in there, so this I'll just kind of throw anywhere, and again like, I only bring this when I'm going to polish vehicles, And the trash bag goes, you guess it, in the trash. And then these two, wa uh, the, the wash mitts and the two uh, wash towels, those get washed separately. Uh, just because they're, you know, higher quality microfiber, those are get trashed all the time. So I'll just set these aside, like just anywhere really. And I'll, I'll dress them separately uh, when it comes to washing. But I don't do anything crazy when it comes to just cleaning out the brushes. Like I don't spray them down with APC and brush them out and make sure that they're yada 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 just because they're used consistently so as long as i'm getting the the brake dust off of them and stuff that's really all that matters so here i'll literally just rinse it down i won't even wait for them to dry like, i'll let them sit there and then i'll ring like, i'll i'll fling it out at the end but it's really nothing um there's nothing too intense because they're going to be used, they're meant to be used. So I'll just make sure that I quickly rinse them. And I won't do all. Let's see here. Okay. 
I place this first into the wheel bucket and then I start putting everything else around it and I just kind of spling it out one more time just to get some of that last bit of we'll get that water out It is easier if you put it like this. On the same thing with these, if you, if you want to preserve like the brushes so they're not like jammed down, put them downwards. And we are ready to rock and roll for the next one. And since I have engine cleaning coming up and I use different towels for that, I have a stack of these. These will just kind of set, set uh, they'll just be up there just because anytime I do an engine bay cleaning, that's usually the first thing that I do. Um, if it's like an exterior service, if there's multiple exterior services. So I'll just grab those as soon as I get there and get to work on the engine bay. All right, and that's gonna wrap it up. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I don't go over the top. I don't always keep my vehicle completely clean, completely immaculate. I, I really don't. There's so many things I have to take care of on a daily basis um, between, you know, the YouTube videos and, and, and handling clients and such. So that's, you know, washing the vehicle and like making sure it's like 100% immaculate kind of on the lower end of the totem pole, but hopefully you learned something or took something away from this. Let me know if you have, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, and I'll see you on the next one.